Hi, this review is for the Marvi HDV801 underwater digital camera and video recorder. So with the camera you get a charging cable, it's a USB to micro USB cable. You also get the USB wall adapter which I thought was really nice. Most of the products don't come with the uh, wall adapter. You get a drawstring carrying case and the user manual. So as far as the camera, um, it's got two LCD screens, one on the front and a little bit larger one on the back. Uh, I'll give you a quick view of the front there. Um, it also comes with uh, this wrist carrying strap. Uh, on the top you've got um, your take the picture button here, a power button and a, a button that will switch the screens uh, depending on if you want the image that you're taking the picture of on the uh, larger back screen or if you're taking a selfie uh, middle you can flip it around to have the image on the front screen. Um, on either side um, there's an area where you can attach a wrist strap or if you wanted um, even like a neck strap since you do have both um, hooks there on the sides. On the back, um, like I said, you get the bigger LCD screen here. Um, you've got up and down and this is also the uh, zoom and um, unzoom buttons. Um, you've got a select button, trash button uh, to delete pictures that you don't want off the camera. Um, your mode button, uh, it's this little looks like a play button. Um, that'll switch you from the camera mode to the video mode to uh, the uh, mode where you can review the images you've taken and then a uh, settings button there. On the bottom is uh, where the battery is and there's also a little area female receiver for if you wanted to place the camera on a tripod. In the... oops, just turn it on there. Hold on one moment. Um, battery area here. There we go. Um, you've got your lithium battery and then um, the little port there for the charging cable, which um, charging cable can also be used to connect the camera to your computer. And then uh, the micro SD card slot there, and that just clicks in and out. Um, the camera can hold up to a 32 gig memory card. Um, there is no memory on the camera, so you do want to make sure that you either purchase um, the up to 32 gig micro SD card or uh, if you have one on hand, you can obviously use that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera on here. The screen uh, may not be visible as well in the video, but the um, screen is really, really clear. Um, you've got your battery indicator, uh, the settings up here, and uh, this little top left button right now it looks like a camera. That's how you know which if you're on the camera or the uh, video. Go ahead and hit the little play looking button for modes to show you. Um, that's what the video uh, camera recorder looks like, um, indicator there. And then uh, the play button um, so that you can review your images. I did take a number of images um, that I'll put at the end of the video so that you can see the quality. Uh, I felt that the quality was exceptional. Um, it records in full HD as far as video and it takes pictures up to I think 24 megapixels. Okay, so I'll go back to the camera there. Um, as far as settings, I'll go ahead and hit the settings button. There's tons of different settings on this camera. Um, you've got a bunch of different scenes. Um, auto, scenery, portrait, night scenery, night portrait, high sensitivity, um, sport, beach, party, and uh, back to auto. So um, to switch between the screens, you hit this uh, little button here that looks like the lightning button. Um, you've got a whole bunch of different image resolution options. Um, you know, the better the image resolution, the larger the file is going to be, of course. So um, keep that in mind when you're uh, using the memory on the SD card there. Okay, you've got... Um, image quality, you can do normal fine or super fine. And again, um, the better the quality of the picture, um, the higher the image file is going to be. You have the option to do a self timer, two second, five second, and ten second. Um, there's a anti-shake or anti-vibration mode there. Um, face detection on or off depending on uh, what you're taking pictures of. Uh, multiple shot if you wanted to do like a burst uh, mode um, to take a bunch of shots at once. 
uh, different white balance, uh, auto, daylight, cloudy, fluorescent, and incandescent. Um, you can do different color effects. I, I always love this uh, feature on cameras, um, doing standard or sepia, monochrome, or even a vivid. Uh, I especially like on this camera the standard and the monochrome uh, settings. You can do image sharpness adjustments if you want a soft shot, normal, or extra sharp images. Um, you can adjust the light exposure. It goes from plus three down to negative three. Uh, you can change uh, the ISO settings there. Um, different metering options if you wanted to focus more on the center um, or just if you're taking a broad picture multi or a spot. Uh, you can change the language. Um, you can set up through the date and time setup and either uh, choose to have the date and time on each image or not. Silent mode. I have mine on silent mode. I don't like all the different beeps as you hit the buttons. Just personal preference. Um, you've got power off if uh, you wanted to do like a battery save mode for one minute, three minute, or five minute. Um, different frequencies, 50 and 60 hertz. And then um, this one's kind of important, the SD formatting for the memory card. Uh, make sure that you, when you insert your memory card at uh, the very beginning that you do format it to the camera. Otherwise, um, you take a chance that even though it looks like it's taking images and video, it's not actually recording to the card there. Um, and then just a firmware reset to the factory settings. So those are all the different modes. Um, and then one other thing I forgot to show you at the beginning, there's this little button here. Um, it's got a mountain picture for like a scenery type picture versus a flower for um, if you wanted to focus it. And that knob just turns slightly and that will focus your image on the screen. Um, I thought that was pretty neat that you can do um, a manual focus there and it works really well um, when I was going through and taking the pictures. So we'll go ahead and switch back to camera mode there. And then I just wanted to show also um, when you hit this top button to switch the screens around what that looks like. So go ahead and hit that there. And then there it is on the front. Alrighty, and um, I'll just kind of, let's see, switch it back. There we go. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the video, but um, as I turn this little knob on the side, you can see it focusing. There we go. Alrighty, and uh, that's all I wanted to show um, as far as the uh, features of the camera. I'll go ahead and turn that off there. Um, and like I said, I'll post uh, some sample pictures so you can see the uh, quality of the images that it takes uh, at the end of this video. Again, the video is for the Marvi HDV801 Underwater Digital Camera and Video Recorder, and I appreciate you watching my review. Thank you.